Hey guys, it's Room the Math Person, and I'll be giving you guys a little rundown of how to pass exam P without paying any money. So basically just passing exam P for free. Except the, you know, you obviously have to pay 250 or however much it is to take the exam, but other than that, I'll be going through all the free resources you can find, all the free exams to pass exam P. So the best thing, obviously, no shame here, is self-promoting. The best thing you can do to pass exam P for free is just going through my videos. So for example, when I actually let's say we click on this i want you guys to actually pause the video and try to solve this problem yourself and double check the answers at the end like this if you can't get it then obviously watch my videos but i definitely do think this is a very good way especially if you're a auditory learner because you're able to listen and it will reinforce it in your head i know f and i also do recommend one of the reasons why i started my videos backwards as you notice my one of my first videos i made was um, question 328 and working backwards that's because the earlier version is on the BSU website right here or the Wisconsin website so if you click on these they give you free rundowns for videos for the earlier ones so if you're interested you can check this out I'll be linking everything I mentioned in, the, in my video in the bio of this video so yeah definitely check that area out but I definitely do think but then I do think going backwards is pretty important because the newer information that's on the newer syllabus is going to be reinforced more than the earlier ones. Obviously, there's always going to be the simple prob um, general probability stuff that's going to be earlier in the SOA section, but that's my recommendation. Second, if you're actually just not sure about the concepts, like if you're starting from zero one, you haven't taken any probability classes and you have no idea what you're doing, you, you want to read through some resources, you can actually go to this website right here, the Arkansas Tech University Department of Mathematics. They have this whole resources. And if you click on these links, it's going to take you to a PDF that's going to go over every single information. And what's great about these is that it also comes with 10 practice exams. Did you hear me? Yes, 10 practice exams. And obviously, they go over first go over the information of how to do it and so you understand how the process of everything so i definitely do ch recommend checking these out for information that you don't know and obviously for because it's a pdf you can look it up but you can look through different information like that Control f to find information you're looking for so i definitely do 10 out of 10 recommend going through this pdf to review some information but then again, the big, biggest thing that everyone's going to tell you is um, practice, practice, practice. So I do recommend um, just doing all those 10 problems, not 10 if you can, but like do some pra practice problems, practice exams, because on the exam, you're going to notice that time is key. So it's kind of like taking the SAT or any standardized testing. Knowing the concept is one thing, but being able to do it within that time frame and being able to do it under that pressure is another thing. So I do recommend putting yourself in a setting where you can take these three hour exams a couple times at least. So right here is 10 exams for you, as well as there is a online exam practice exam for MSU. So you can take this right here and it's gonna time it as well, three hours on the bottom. So that's very, very that's another really good resource here. Another good resource I think is the SOA website, obviously. <laughs> on their website, you can actually take a um, free practice exam. So what what, this website does is just randomize, randomizes like the 328 questions that's already on the um, website that the practice problems they just randomize and pick random 30 of them and they as a and uh, similarly they also have the three hour time on the bottom as well so you can time yourself and see what your speeds like and the next good resources other than that it, that oh the TIA also has free four exams here too so you can take those. And then this one is another favorite. You can generate any random amount of questions on here. For example, like if you don't want to take a full exam, you can take you can pick like 15, for example, half the time. And it will generate a random exam with a um questions and answers. But the only problem is sometimes these answers are sometimes wrong, I noticed. But other than that, it, this is a very good um, resource too. Lastly, and what's great about this is that you, after you submit your work, let's say, and you get those questions wrong, you can actually regenerate more questions. He, see right here? Push here to repeat the missed problem. So you have opportunity to take the exam again 
with the missed problems so you can keep learning. Okay, I'm kind of like running from like topic to topic, but again, back to this question right here. Um, I do recommend using like a Google Sheet or something like that and writing down the problems that you got wrong and going back to redo it, redoing it because you never want to you never want to miss a question that you know you've already seen before. So I think it's really important to go back and review the questions you missed. But other than that, that's all I have. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And if you guys have any more resources, free resources, please leave them down below. Otherwise, my also my email is down in the email message box too so check that out otherwise make sure you like subscribe and share bye